At this video, we're going to have a look at a new beta plugin, and I stress that beta plugin. It's still being polished, and it's called Augmented Canvas. And it's the first community plugin that I've seen so far that actually brings the power of ChatGPT into the canvas. You will require a subscription to OpenAI in order to use this plugin because it uses the latest version of the GPT-4 family. So let's have a look at exactly what this can do in Canvas. Now, the first thing that you need to realize about this plugin, of course, is that because it's a beta plugin, you can't install it directly from the community plugins browsing section. You will need to go down to the settings in Obsidian and call up the plugin known as Brat by TFT Hacker. And then you will need to add the beta plugin through there. Now, if you're not sure how to do this, a video that I did last week was done on the Brat plugin to explain how to use it to install beta plugins, irrespective of what they might be. So you can see here that I've got the Metacorp Obsidian Augmented Canvas plugin already installed. So I won't go through the process again. Go back and have a look at that video if you need to, and we'll go on with looking at the canvas itself. So I've started a new canvas just here and it's empty at the moment. So what I'm going to do is just pull in a, a note and here I'm just going to type in, and this is, as I say, it's for exercise only. You'll have to do your own and I'm sure that you'll come up with some smarter things than I am going to for the demonstration purposes, but it'll just make it simple. So we're gonna say that who was Humpty Dumpty? Right, and then we go here, you'll see that there's some additional little icons as a result of installing this plugin. We're gonna say Ask AI. There's three here, there's Ask AI. There's also Ask Questions with AI once you've generated a, the beginnings of a canvas. And this one here will also bring up some AI generated questions, which I will show you in just a moment. So if we say, who is Humpty Dumpty? We'll bring that out a little bit and Ask AI, it is now going off and it's asking ChatGPT who Humpty Dumpty was. And it then tells the story of Humpty Dumpty. Uh, it's going to give us, oh, look at this. It's giving us the nursery rhyme and everything and some stories of it as well. So we could then say, in fact, now what we'll do now is we'll go and have a look at these uh, AI generated questions. So I'll just pop down here to settings, augmented canvas, and here you can actually add system prompts and these are the ones that will come up i've added this one here an academic researcher if i want to do some things it will generate flashcards for you there's a number of different items that it will do so we'll just close that and if we click on this one here ai generated questions it can bring those up and it's loading them now so what is the historical origin of humpty dumpty are there any historical events or figures what does humpty dumpty rhyme symbolize and continue can you tell me some more nursery rhymes so it's actually taking the context of the answer that is, has been given there and generating some more questions so let's see what if it does symbolize anything so we'll ask what does it symbolize here we are and saying it doesn't have a concern confirmed meaning fall of pride of power interesting things there thought provoking perhaps anyway just something to play with now, the other thing that you can do here is ask, ask questions with the AI. You could actually do another box here, for example. I'm going to link it back here and we'll say, ask with AI, do you know other nursery rhymes? Ask AI again, calling it, yes, nursery rhymes, and then it's just going on and finding a few different ones as well. So you can see that's that's in real time. It's pretty quick that it's actually going away and finding the answers to that. And you can imagine this in other contexts, like you know, generating video scripts, checking for information. You could do research paper research about it if you're reading a research paper, all sorts of different things. So it has considerable potential power as Leopold, the developer, starts moving on it. And at the moment, he's got a few other things happening. If we go here and right click on it, you can see here it will generate an image. This is not working just at the moment, but it will call Dally 3. You can see that it's called it there. 
but it isn't. I found that it isn't generating the images. So he's working on that at the moment. So it looks like it's going to be able to generate images from the results that it generates within the canvas. So I'll just delete that. We won't worry about that too much. And the other thing too that is in the settings is that he has a provision here for a YouTube API key to fetch captions. I'm not sure what that's doing at this stage. He's still working on that, it's just that the, the provision is in the settings to put that in. So there's a fair bit of forward movement with it and that's the most important thing. One other thing is that we should have a look at is by using the control panel uh, or command palette, whichever you choose to call it, uh, we can pull up here the augmented canvas ones and run a system prompt prompt on a folder or insert a system prompt. So we check, select that one. Here are all the system prompts that exist that can be used within the augmented canvas. So if we have a look here saying a philosophy teacher, selected philosophy teacher, and we'll say, it says here, you can want you to act as a philosophy teacher, right? And then we'll bring this here and say, tell me about Socrates. Socrates, ask AI and here we go, telling the story of Socrates and probably in the Socratic method, which is more to do with the philosophical teachings, etc. Look, I think that's probably enough to demonstrate the power of the plugin. It's really just a matter of you going off and playing with it and seeing what it can do. I, I think that it could be very, very useful in terms of generating visual maps of your research and what you want to do. And don't forget, of course, that you can convert any of these to a note by right clicking on it and just says convert to file, which will put it away somewhere. Uh, so that's the augmented canvas plugin. Have a, have a bit of a play with it, see what you think. And I'd love to hear your responses in the comments below, but also don't hesitate to go back and have a look at the GitHub repository and leave any comments that you would like to make for Leopold in terms of the development of the plugin. The link will be in the show notes to the GitHub repository. Until next time, cheers. Thank you.